germinating. They're starting to grow. Hello everyone. My name is Melissa and I am a practicum student at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point working with the Central Wisconsin Environmental Station. Now I love plants. I love growing plants especially from seeds like these beans right here. But how does that happen? How does a seed grow into an entire plant? Hmm. Let's explore the secret life of seeds and find out. Flowering plants grow from seeds, but what exactly is a seed? A seed is just a plant that hasn't started growing yet. There are many different types of seeds. You probably have some in your house right now, like popcorn. And pepitas are actually a type of pumpkin seed. Acorns are actually the seeds from oak trees. Squirrels love to eat these seeds. They're very tasty. Are you surprised that any of these items are seeds? Each seed has three main parts. Here we see the hard seed coat or the outer shell. Seed coats protect the baby plant inside. But if we were to break a seed open and take a look inside, we can see the second part of the seed called the cotyledon, which is basically built-in food for the baby plant. Now, if we unwrap the seed a little bit more and look really close, we can actually see the embryo or the little baby plant inside. Take a closer look. The seed coat right here covers the entire seed and protects the little baby plant, keeping it safe from things like insects, disease, and physical damage. It knows when conditions are right for sprouting. If conditions are not right for growing, the seed will stay dormant or inactive, like it's asleep. When conditions are right though, the seed coat lets the embryo know that it's time to start growing. We'll talk more about good growing conditions in a little bit. The embryo, or the tiny plant inside the seed, will eventually grow roots, a stem, and leaves when conditions are right. The seed's food supply, called the cotyledon in plants like beans, surrounds the embryo and is the seed's main source of nutrition when it first starts growing. When a baby plant develops its first leaves, it can then make its own food and no longer needs the seed's food supply or cotyledon. What part of the seed do you think is the most important? Actually, every part of the seed has a very specific purpose and the plant will not grow if one part is not working right. A plant's growing process is called germination. Can you say that with me? Germination. Very good. So in order for a seed to germinate or start growing, it actually needs three important things. Do you know what those three things are? One of them is water. Water is very, very important for letting a seed know the conditions are right to grow. The other thing is sunlight. Sunlight is required. The third thing is warm temperatures. So when a seed realizes that it has enough water, warm temperature, and sunlight, it knows that it is time for it to let the embryo inside that seed know that it's time to grow. Now when that happens, the seed coat lets a little bit of water through, lets a little bit of water through the seed coat and into the embryo inside. When that happens, the embryo starts to swell. It starts to grow. Now eventually, that embryo will pop open the seed coat and a root will pop out and start growing downward. These seeds all know which way is up and down, so they will send their roots down. And it looks something like this. So you can see the seed coat on this bean has broken. It has popped open and a nice root is growing right here and starting to grow down. 
at this stage in the baby plant's life, as it's putting down all these new roots, it's actually using food from its food source, the cotyledon, while it's growing. Now eventually, this little baby plant will have put down enough roots that it can start to straighten up a little bit. And eventually, this whole part right here will straighten up and break the surface of the soil. And this will become the stem and new leaves will grow above the cotyledon. When this happens, when a baby plant breaks the surface of the soil, that means it has sprouted and it's a whole new stage of life for this little plant. When a plant first sprouts, it is using its cotyledons for food. But once it starts growing true leaves, it starts making its own food using sunlight. Since it no longer needs the original food supply, the cotyledons will eventually dry up and fall off of the plants. With enough water, warm temperatures, and sunlight, the new little plant will grow and make more leaves. The roots of the plant will support it as it continues to grow. Eventually, the plant will be big enough to flower and make seeds of its own. This is how seeds become plants. Let's look at some other plants grown from seed. Would you like to further explore the wonders of germination? If so, have an adult help you to gather the following materials so you can conduct your own seed growing experiment right at home. The first thing that you'll need is a pot full of potting soil. You'll also need some bean seeds. I used blue like bush beans. You'll need a glass of water, as well as a watering can with some more water in it. A stick for poking holes into the soil for planting, and a nice sunny windowsill. You'll also need warm temperatures around the pot, and a notebook for recording your observations. First, place some bean seeds into a glass of water. Leave them in the glass of water to soak for up to eight hours. This will help the seed coat to get a jump start on waking up the embryos of your plants. While your seeds are soaking, have an adult help you to put some potting soil into the container you want to use for growing your beans. Add some water to the soil if it's super dry and then let it settle. Use a pencil or the end of a paintbrush to poke holes into the potting soil. Be sure to only poke your holes an inch deep or so. You can measure and make a mark with tape on your poking stick to help guide you if you'd like. After your bean seeds have soaked, remove them from the water. Drop the seeds individually into the holes that you've made and gently cover them up with soil. After planting, be sure to water your pot of seeds, but be very careful to not put too much water in. Carefully place your pot in a warm, sunny window. Now we wait. Be sure to check your pot every day and take notes of any changes that you see. Do you think it's warm enough for your seeds to germinate? After three to 10 days, you should see your seeds starting to sprout. What do they look like? Write down your observations. Can you find the cotyledons on your sprouted plants? If the weather is warm enough and there's no frost at night, you can move your plants outside when they're big enough. You'll know your plants are ready when they have grown at least three true leaves, not the cotyledons, but true leaves. Eventually, your plants will make flowers. And if those flowers get pollinated, you could grow your very own beans. How amazing that green growing things can come from these hard, dry, sleeping seeds. We just witnessed the wonders of plants growing. Let's think about what we learned. 
How did your plants grow? What surprised you about the process? What happened to the cotyledons as your plants grew? Do you think this process is similar to how wild plants grow from seeds? Why or why not? How would this experiment be different at different times of the year? Thank you so much for joining me in discovering the secret life of seeds.